Captain Wunsch, good to see you. But if you're here, who's guarding Hades? I will attempt to cooperate with you under these new circumstances. Don't sweet talk me, Halt. I gave it my best shot. Let's begin. No photos of Wunsch. That's because vampires don't appear on film. Perhaps we should be looking for a 17th century woodblock print. I have to admit, I'm impressed. Uh, sorry to disappoint you, Madeline. I know you'd hope we fail. Oh, no, I couldn't be happier. Wait. Why would you say that? And why aren't you clenching your little red hands in anger? I meant we have to fight her. We're not going to fight her. She's the devil. And you don't dance with the devil because you get burned. Also, because in Madeline's case, she has no rhythm, and her hands are like little rat claws. Care to sit? I'm sure you'd like to take some weight off your cloven hooves. Calling me the devil? How original, Raymond. Actually, I was calling you a goat. You goat. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead and gloat, you toad. Thank you for this honor, Deputy Chief. Oh. OK. You're welcome. Lunch time is over. Boom, did it. <laughs> Had it both ways. No regrets. I got your whole conversation. You are going to leave my precinct and my task force alone. Or else, you are lunch meat. You sure you want to go with that one? Absolutely, it's hilarious. All right. They're not allowed to do that. It's against the rules. It's also against the rules to let a pile of worms wear a uniform, and yet here you stand. Yep. Hello, Deputy Chief Wunsch. You've aged. I've come to ask for your help. The commissioner will be wait, calling wait, you. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, moment savored. So where were we? The shriveled husk of Raymond Holt. Look, Gina, is that a talking raisin? You know what else shows how much you've matured? Your withered face. Now I know why you refer to this as a suicide squad, Peralta, because I already want to kill myself. Why don't you wait a week? You'll probably die of old age. The only way I'm going to die is if you touch me with one of your bony fingers and drag me across the river Styx, you reaper. Wunch. Uh. <sighs> Hello, Raymond. You're looking old and sickly. So nice of you to greet us, Madeline. I thought surely you'd still be crushed under that house in Munchkinland. Sticks and stones, Raymond. Describing your breakfast? How do you like my new office? 20th floor. Yes, I never thought I'd see you this high without a broom under you. Well done. Now get me Madeline and a bucket of water. It's time to melt a witch. Deputy Chief Wunsch is here to see you. Oh, please stay, Diaz. I need a witness in case her head starts spinning around or she turns into a she-wolf. Hello, Raymond. No flaccid rejoinder. Hmm, what's going on? I'm here on important business. I'm a front runner for a job in the Boston PD. Boston? But it's so close to Salem. You do know what they do to witches up there, don't you? This is amazing. You could have had a chopper, Raymond. Why don't you take advantage? Just a minute, my cauldron's boiling over. And what do you hope to get out of this, Madeline? Let me guess, revenge on Dorothy for killing your sister. So, here's how I see this going down. You plead for your job back, I refuse. You start weeping like a war widow. Does that sound about right? Don't count your gross fish babies before they've hatched, Madeline. I would give you more details, but someone just came in to try and find her Dalmatian coat. Hello, Raymond. Madeline, I wondered why all the birds had suddenly stopped singing. What brings you here? I heard you were under investigation by Internal Affairs. Didn't want to miss that. So much time with your ear to the pavement, it's a pity a truck hasn't run over your head. We were doomed the minute she slithered into the precinct. I'm mad because you tried to get me thrown off the force. Yeah, because you shot me. I shot you because you were in the wrong position. You weren't following orders. What about the time you destroyed my personnel file while I was undercover? What if there'd been a mole? You were trying to make me disappear. You embarrassed me in front of Derek Jeter. You embarrassed yourself in front of Derek Jeter. I got her a parting gift. Tickets to Wicked? In Boston. She's moving to a second-class city, and I wanted to rub her nose in it. Enjoy the understudies, Madeline. Have fun watching some chubby Chenoweth knockoff warble her way through popular. I think it's natural to feel a little down about her death. For the last 20 years, your lives have been entangled. Because of her ratty hair. You can't leave us. I'm not going anywhere. Madeline's not some invincible succubus. She's a regular succubus. Spot checks are done. Needless to say, I'm thoroughly underwhelmed. Huh, from your expression, I would have guessed constipated or chilly. Kelly won't tell me anything. He won't even meet with me. Perhaps you can sneak in disguised as an old leather chair. I could torpedo her promotion. Just saying it brims my soul with joy. But to do so would mean that she stays here in New York City, hanging over me like 
an albino bat. On the other hand, if I praise Wunsch, she will leave the city, the clouds will part, and the children will sing Wunsch is Gone. What children? All the children. Right, that was a stupid question. I will never trust Madeline Wunsch. She's a venomous snake waiting to strike, and you know what we do to snakes. Chop their heads off, remove the skin, turn them into boots. Don't be absurd. Who would want troll skin boots? You just said she was a snake. The devil comes in many forms. Harry said he has some news from the office of Commissioner Wunsch. Ugh, what does that human blister want now? Does she intend to demote me even further? Or perhaps she'll transfer me to the swamps of New Jersey so I can patrol the sinkhole where she was spawned. Or it's possible the announcement has nothing to do with you. Oh, good thing you brought her. You're right. Maybe Madeline wants to inform us all that she's a chooksin. A what? A chooksin. A Korean toilet ghost. Lives in an outhouse, wraps her hair around your throat, and chokes you to death while you move your bowels? You know what? I will give you $6,000 if the announcement is she's a chooksin. OK, everyone. I have some news. That Madeline Wunsch is a Korean toilet ghost? Boring. We already knew that. Madeline Wunsch is dead. Say what now? Wunsch is dead? Yeah. The commissioner's office just notified us. No way that's true. As one says when she sees deodorant, I'm not buying it. <laughs> My lady left me. My lady stayed. Come on, sir. Focus on the good. You can hold your head up. You took the high road with Wunch. Not entirely. When I was alone in her office, I changed her autocorrect. Now when she types Wunch, it gets replaced with butt. I've examined his proposal. There's no proof that Giggle Pig is a serious problem. So we're just supposed to wait until it turns into an epidemic. You're like the League of Nations in 36, just hoping the Abyssinian crisis resolves itself. That's the lesson you draw from the fall of Addis Ababa? Raymond, you sound so naive. And you sound just like Victor Emmanuel III. Wunch is dead! Bagel! 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 Sir, I am loving this color on you, but don't you think you should tone it down? Why, in case I run into a family? I'm not planning any trips to the Bronx Zoo. The email contains a link to a video. I'm going to play it. Brace yourselves. If it shows Madeline, be sure not to look directly into her eyes. Because we'll turn to stone? No, because her eyes are ugly. Hello, Raymond. Surprised to see me? Well, I didn't say Bloody Mary three times, so yes. When did she record this? Judging by the flames around her, it could be a live stream. <laughs> Very good, Rosa. <laughs> All you have to do is say a few nice comments during the memorial. As God said, when once tried to sneak past the gates into heaven, it ain't happening, honey. <laughs> For a moment there, I almost forgot who the real villain was. The woman who recently died. Mm. Yesterday, before you convinced me to hold a respectful service, I sent some instructions for how I wanted the room to look. We may need to make some tweaks. So many balloon arches. I know. It all has to go. OK, everyone, we have work to do. Raymond convinced me the best way to get back at lunch is to make sure he doesn't get fired. Also, I'm just going to chisel a penis onto her headstone. And I'm going to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Madeline smelled like dog crap. But not I'm crap from any sorry, dog. I, I don't I'm know a what a sick dog. <laughs> <laughs> Madeline Wunsch will not soon be forgotten. Trick-or-treaters will dress like her for generations. I still inherit half her estate just for trying this. Cool. It's the other half of every child's nightmares. I love it, Rosa. Great work all day. 